What is going on guys? Evolution here and we are back with some more of the Grand Tour series. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. So this episode we're going to be going to the Redwood Biome here and taming up a moose because the one thing that's really holding us back when it comes to building at the moment is thatch and it's not so bad to gather by hand but there's definitely easier ways and we should be able to find a decent level because there are so many of them so I'm not too worried about it on that front. And if we head over here, I've actually been doing a bunch of building. We've got so many foundations placed down. And the plan is, at that level, we're going to build ceilings all the way across and flatten out this entire area. And then uh, we're going to do some grand entrance there. And this is going to be basically the main dino storage slash like central hub. So all of our stuff is going to happen in here. So let's go ahead and head over to the redwood biome here and find ourselves a thatch machine all right we found a 102 so that's there if we really need it but i definitely think we can find a higher level one than that oh we found a 162 okay that's pretty dang good there's actually a bunch more here that was a low level was there one more that i just didn't see am i blind i also don't know where that 162 went Everything's kind of just ran off. Oh, I think that's the 162. I do like the colors on it. Did not mean to pull up my spyglass there. Oh, it's it's getting attacked? Did we grab it? No, we didn't. I'm... Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. We need to get this... Uh... Oh, we didn't get it. Oh, it's going to die. We didn't get it again. It died. No freaking terror birds. Oh, I'm so upset. Okay, well, that 162 is gone. No longer a thing. It's super dark in the redwood. We're going to have to gamma five. Big gamma. All right, we got a couple drops really close to each other. So let's go ahead and grab them. We might as well. Maybe we'll get something good out of them. Um. Okay, some apprentice saddles. I'm not necessarily going to complain about that. Not super useful, unless they were like a wreck saddle or something. And what are we going to get out of this drop? We're just landing and going for it. I'm not going to check the area. I have faith. Oh, we got a metal sickle that is like 7% better than a normal one. Amazing. Okay, I was uh, getting a little worried, but we found a 168... We're going to go ahead and pick this up, bring it back to base. Oh, we're going to have to stop for Stam. We should probably do that now. It seems pretty safe here. So we'll just chill. And everything bad can just stay over in that area. That would be appreciated. Not amazing colors on this one either, which makes me a bit sad. Kind of plain. The other one was gray with white antlers, and I loved the look of it. But we let it die. We weren't quick enough. We should have just picked it up immediately when we saw it. There are so many meese or mooses along the beach line here. It's kind of crazy. Is that a 174 Paraceratherium? Is that a joke? A 174 Paraceratherium. I mean, what would we even use that for? I'm not too sure, but that is kind of amazing. I kind of want to tame it. I don't think we're going to, but uh, it is there. You guys let me know if you want me to tame a 174 Paraceratherium for some random reason. Actually, give me a reason why we should actually tame it and what we would use it for. All right, let's go ahead and throw it in the pen. And now we can start tranking it. It shouldn't be too bad. I don't think we're going to kill it. Let's just plug its butt full of some arrows. One on each cheek. That's just the way. And there's a Therizinosaur inside my gate? Okay, game. Is that a joke? Are you amazing? You're actually kind of amazing. Um. Okay, we may be taming a Therizinosaur today as well. Why not? Let's add it to the list. I'm pretty sure they're decent at getting thatch as well. So let's knock you out. If we can. Yeah, you're knocked out. Oh, I really don't. I'm scared. It's getting really close. Okay, we gotta be... 
Really, really careful. Um, best way to do this, probably grab some foundations super quick. Let's not dawdle. Let's just grab... We just need that, and then... Or you know what we could do? We could just trap it in Behemoth Gates. That is honestly a thing that is definitely possible. If we can... Let's do that. And... If you come back in here, that would be amazing. We're gonna do that. And then I think... We aggro you. Like so. Oh, come on. Well, that did not place correctly at all. But did it work? Oh, it kind of worked. Okay, we need probably... Something else there to keep it in. Because that gap's a bit wide. 100% didn't mean to place it like that. But if we can... It's still actually aggroed on me. We can just chill here. Like so. And we'll just do something like that. The most amazing trap ever. Okay. So it's stuck inside here. We can just sit up top and trank it, I guess. If we have enough. We may want to make some more tranks. Okay, we don't want to fall in. That would be... Not a great experience. <gasps> we fell in. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Yeah, that was, uh... That's not what we wanted to do. 100% not what we wanted to do. Are any of our creatures going to attack? I need to see. Make sure everything's on passive. Alright, we seem okay. Let's just do that, just in case. And we need to get our stuff. I think there's a personal gravestone on the server, so we should be able to just grab our items. I hope. Yes, there is. Okay. What do we need? We need stone. We literally don't have that much stone. Okay, that's unfortunate. And we're gonna head back up there. You know what? I might actually do... I think we have some ramps, so let's grab some ramps real quick. Let's cancel this crafting so we can actually move around. We'll craft once we're stationary and ready to uh, start tranking. I'm going to grab just maybe a little bit of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually trank it off this foundation. I feel like that's just going to be the play. Oh, that did not go high enough. That is unfortunate. Pick you up. Let's try this again. There we go. And I don't think I can be hit up there. But this will just give us a easy path up. And we should be able to just do this without any trouble. Oh, it's running. It is absolutely running. It should be out very soon. I'm hoping anyway. I love this Mastercraft crossbow. I'm so happy we got it. It makes all the difference in the world when taming. Please go out. Come on. There we go. It's out. Okay. So we can open this up. Uh, we have a bunch of narcotic at the base, so I'm not worried about any of that. Because I know they drop pretty fast. And uh, we're just going to have to vegetable tame it. I mean, it's not a perfect tame. It's not going to be super, super, super amazing. Uh, but it'll be fine. Let's check on the moose. How are we doing? The moose is on the loose. It's doing great. Let's grab some taters. And some citronol. Alright, so we have the moose tamed up. It's looking great. And we have the therizinosaur or the tickle monster. Whatever you prefer. And we're going to do a little bit of thatch gathering. So 
let's do that. Oh, the moose is attacking things. The moose is very angry. It does 100 damage, which is really good. That was a 180 Titano Myrma, which is uh, kind of insane. And yes, I'm trying to pronounce them correctly. I feel like I'm still failing, but I think it's Titano Myrma. Titano Myrma. That sounds right, but I don't I don't know. I always say Titan Manira because it's just easier for my mouth to say. Because I have problems saying all kinds of words. Because my tongue is just terrible, apparently. Just can never pronounce anything. So who knows? Um, let's see how much the fairy does. So that does 100. This does 138. That's pretty good. That's not bad. Oh, we're stuck in the moose. That's not what we want. Can we just kill you? We can. And we can, uh... Get a little bit of fiber going. With our little tickle claws. 100% the way. And we can get a bunch of that. Oh, we don't get that much thatch, actually. It's not a super amount. We get lots of wood, though. So we got another wood farmer. I'm pretty sure the beaver's better, though, in that regard. And uh, we have the moose, which is definitely better for getting thatch. The fairs, you know, is kind of a, a multi-tool. It doesn't do one thing super well. It just does many things decently. So I can't really complain about that. We only got 74 thatch from that. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting more thatch. We're getting in the thatch routine. I can already tell that this is going to be very nice to have gonna make building and grinding resources a lot less stressful so I'm very thankful for Let's just grab I don't know how much we should grab we should grab a decent amount probably let's maybe do let's do 20k I feel like 20k is a decent start we shouldn't have to come back for a little while there's a dilo there causing some trouble why did our Therese, you know, kill a a Fiomia. Wow, savage. Just like a a wandering pig bull causing no trouble whatsoever. My Therizino just slaughters it? Okay. Kind of a... Uh, kind of a little crazy. A little bloodthirsty, but what do I know? Uh, let's actually drop the wood. That's just very heavy. And we have a bunch of levels. Let's just pump it all into weight. We might as well. It's just going to be our grinding thatch machine. Also, if you guys have a name for this or the Therizinosaur, let me know in the comments below. We definitely need to give them names. Oh my, there's so many things here. What are you going to do though? My moose is just better. It's just better. Nothing else to it. All right, so I think we have enough thatch for now. Let's, uh, let's head back to base. Let's hop in the ferry and have a bit of fun. Kill some things on the way back. Also gather some wood, might as well. Oh, that's a strong Ferrisaur. I guess it wasn't that strong. And we have levels on this as well. And I don't know if I want to do melee or weight. I may do a little bit of weight. Maybe we get to a thousand. And then we do the rest melee. I feel like that's reasonable. Oh, we're in a little bit of a battle. We got some trikes on us. The trikes are mean. Don't be touching my moose. That's my moose. It's on the loose and uh, I don't want anyone near it. I want nobody near it. All right, are we good? Can we all relax a bit? Okay, so while I was taming up the Therizinosaur, I did a little bit of work on the build here. So let me just talk you guys through exactly what's going on um so we have this whole area which is going to be completely flat with ceilings i said that earlier and then we're going to have this area below which is just going to be kind of a foundation for the stairs really that's it i felt it looked kind of weird if we just built ramps straight down to the ground and i wanted another area for the stairs to go to so we're going to have stairs going down from up there to here. 
And then we're also going to have stairs going here to the ground on each side. And then what I want to do is actually have a couple behemoth gates maybe there and there, depending on how many we can fit. We may even do three, because I believe there are about eight to twelve foundations wide. I always forget how wide they are. And then as we head towards the water, we have this ramped already all the way down. I would like to build a bridge connected from here all the way over to the other side of the water there. So if we're on land creatures, we don't really have to worry about swimming or anything like that. Just makes things a bit easier. I know the water isn't very deep, but I just think having it there would be nice. But yeah, that's basically everything with the build so far. There is a lot of ceilings that we need to place down. And until we have the shell done, there's not too much to show on camera. What is happening up here? Uh, I don't like that. There's a dilo here. How did a dilo even get there? Get in there, moose. Oh, the saber tooth got it. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, once we have the shell done, I think there's going to be a lot of fun to be had with the build. And before we end off here, I actually want to just take the moose over to the redwood and see exactly how much we get from the big redwood trees. I'm assuming it's going to be a lot, but I really am curious. I'm guessing 2,000 thatch per tree. That's my prediction. Let's see. Place you down. It is... Oh, that's terrifying. Oh. Oh, and then there's the slam. And that Acrocanthosaurus is dead. That was very enjoyable to watch. I love the Brachiosaurus. Alright, so let's uh, let's see how much thatch. Uh, it's not showing. Is it because we have thatch in here? Alright. This one doesn't count. It doesn't count. We didn't get to see. Let's go over to this one. Redo. Oh, how much are we going to get? Oh, only like not even a thousand. Okay, well, I was way off. I mean, that's pretty dang good. Let's be completely honest. But I definitely thought it was going to be more. There's a bunch of terror birds here. We got to be a bit careful. And you know what, guys? I think that's actually going to be it for this video. So remember to smash that like button. And remember to subscribe if you guys have not already. Because it seriously helps me out. Also, don't forget about the Therizino name and the Moose name. Throw those in the comments. And if you guys are interested in showing the channel some extra support, you can do so by pledging to me on Patreon. Or maybe checking out some merch. Have a good one. See ya.